during motor starting analysis if you see this type of error error 2501 no switching action is specified for up to the total simulation time so what does it mean and why this error is coming how to sort out the error how to resolve this in this video i will cover certainly though everything everything uh, is in place that means the total simulation time i have specified but this error is coming so how to sort out this issue in this video i will cover so let's start sometimes whenever you are carrying out the motor starting analysis this type of problem may arise and uh, since this is very small error but due to this error you are not able to move forward so in that case what to search how to search which keyword should be put so definitely there will be some problems how to get it uh, how to get rid of this issue that's why i i thought that this video may be helpful because uh, this is definitely an error is coming because whenever we are going to this transformer you see the transformer nameplate impedance everything is mentioned here here also the acceleration time motor acceleration time five second that is also mentioned okay so also if we get if we go to the uh, motor uh, motor studying case editor study case editor here everything is fine in the event also this is this is motor hb motor one this is hb motor one 850 kilowatt and uh, this is the uh, starting time one second and action is also mentioned here you see hb motor one 850 kilowatt so everything is fine and here is the total simulation time total simulation time is also mentioned seven second because the motor motor starting time is mentioned as five second so if it is total simulation time is seven seven second so that should not be any issue then why why that error is coming why that error is coming these are okay not because of this so let's see that so if we run this only static no switching action is specified for up to the total simulation time okay let's go here it's very simple double click info lot of things we overlook during the uh, design uh, during the modeling uh, time so that's why this error may come as you can see this is the this is the spare this is the spare motor this is the status here continuous intermittent or spare you can select any one so at present it is uh, spare motor that's fine but here you can see condition this condition that should be in that should be in service position this service should be in position so at present it is service out but it should be in and here it can be continuous intermittent or spare let's say it is spare motor but it should be in service then okay you can see this motor is in service okay now if you run the motor starting yeah so now it is coming one second so it is showing now if you want to see here the motor terminal voltage you can change it to bus yeah so motor terminal voltage is 86 86.82 percent and it is drawing 506.9 ampere and starting power factor of 15.03 percent starting power factor 
so it's fine it's fine now there is no issue and this is the bus voltage 91.05 percent so bus voltage motor terminal voltage generally this motor terminal voltage this motor terminal voltage uh, this limit is 85 percent and here uh, here the bus voltage is 80 percent so it is more than that more than the limit so this is fine so now it's working if we change this just to cross check if we change this service out but it is in spare spare mode now you run it will show that error that error 2501 no switching action is specified so this is because of this motor only this is uh, this is because of this service in or service out position so it is coming now so it's fine hope uh, this is this is uh, one information you have got this information maybe uh, most of you uh, know this but sometimes some people they may face uh, problems so this may be the reason this is one of the tricks okay so this was the update today thanks for watching this video